Hi everyone, this is Rohan and in this video, I am going to show you how to make videos using Microsoft PowerPoint only. Come, let's learn. So right now we live in a world where online education is the new normal and e-content development has been made mandatory for almost all educators. So a lot of educators including myself have resorted to Microsoft PowerPoint videos which are nothing but video versions of Microsoft PowerPoint presentations with the commentaries of the educators for the easy understanding of the students. These basically consists of four steps that is number one making the PowerPoint presentation, number two screen recording the slideshow, number three audio recording the educator's commentary and number four editing all of these into one video. However, I have seen that a lot of educators use multiple softwares and applications in order to uh, go through these four steps. Now these sometimes results into bad clarity like this or ugly watermarks like this on the right top uh, which sometimes eats into the video's text also and there are worse watermarks like this which takes away the attention of the students from your presentation. So what I'm about to propose is that you do not need a number of softwares or multiple applications to do all of this. All you need is Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's see what is the hardware setup required for the same. For the hardware setup, we you need a laptop or a PC, whatever is available with you and uh, earphones with microphone. These are the kind of earphones that usually come along with your uh, uh, smartphones. So, and the setup is pretty simple that the jack of this earphones goes into the audio socket of the laptop or the PC, whatever you are using. So now my personal recommendation for the earphone would be JBL C200SI Super Deep Bass In-Ear Premium Headphones with Mic. This is the earphone that I'm using right now. So you can judge its clarity and I would really vouch for its uh, background noise cancellation. And for the laptop, I use HP 15 DR 0060X 2018 15.6 inch laptop. Now. Apart from all the great features that I have listed here, I bought this because mine came included with Microsoft Office Home and Student 2016 version, which means it came preloaded with Microsoft PowerPoint. So in case you are planning to buy the headphones or the laptop, I am pasting the Amazon, Amazon links of the products in the description below so that you can easily click from there and buy these. So let's jump on to the step by step procedure of how to make these PowerPoint videos. So the first step is to make the PowerPoint presentation. Here you are the master of your own subject so i will leave it up to you how you want to make your powerpoint presentation however please keep in mind that this is not something which you are going to present in the front of your students in a lecture this is something which you are going to record as a video and put it up maybe on google classroom or youtube or whatever so I recommend that you learn a bit of PowerPoint animations which will keep things a little interesting for your students to watch. Now the second step is once you're done with making your presentation, you go back to slide number one and click on insert. Once you have done this, you have to click on screen recording which is at the extreme right. Just excuse me for a second while I choose the laser pointer. Yeah. So here you have the screen recording so you need to click on this once you click on this whatever you in have in the background screen will come up here so i had my desktop so this is what is coming up here now make sure audio is selected because you are not only going to record the screen but as well as the audio secondly if you're magic making an educational video it makes sense for you to record the pointer also like as you can see this is the pointer so 
click on this also so make sure audio is clicked as well as record pointer is clicked now after this you have to click on select area so you have to click on this once you click on select area you have to take the cursor from the left top corner and drag it to the right bottom corner something like this okay so what will happen is your entire screen will get selected for recording if you do not wish to do that you can select part of the screen also like i have shown in this uh, screenshot but usually for powerpoint videos most of the people just drag the entire screen and record the entire screen all right so once you have done this return again back to slide one and click on slideshow so once you have clicked on slideshow the next thing is to click the from beginning button so click on from beginning so it will open your slide in a full page right so after this you have to click on record you have to click on record once you have clicked on record it will give you a three second countdown after which the recording will start when i say the recording will start it will start three recordings number one the screen will get recorded number two your audio whatever you are saying will get re recorded and number three even your pointer will get recorded okay so these are the three things that will start getting recorded so after this you start giving your presentation slide by slide okay so what i wanted to show you here is that it is also possible for you to insert hyperlinks to insert hyperlinks here so that if you click on them it will open in a file for example here i have given a hyperlink to a excel file so here the excel file opens and you can go up down and explain your students what the excel file is all about what calculations is and this also gets captured in your powerpoint presentation video and what you have to do to stop it you have to simply minimize it and then you are again back onto your slide so again any file i mean it could be a pdf it could be a word file it could be anything okay similarly even you can give hyperlinks to websites so if you have a hyperlink to website you can click on it and that will also open and that will also get screen recorded so you can show some websites here and what you have to do to get out of it you have to simply minimize it right and again you are back on to your powerpoint so let's say using all of these features you have completed your powerpoint presentation now i would suggest take a pause for five seconds and and then what you do you take the cursor to the top center of the screen i'll show this to you right now okay so if you do like this you see this panel comes down you see here similarly i've shown it here this panel comes down here now what you have to do is you have to click on the stop recording button so this is your stop recording button if you click on this this means all the three recordings that were going on will stop so it will take it will take you out of your uh, powerpoint screen and it will take some time to insert the media you can track the speed here so it depending upon the length of the video and the power of your laptop uh, I mean the computing power of your laptop it may take from a few seconds to a few minute also so once this process is over the video will be pasted onto your first slide now i know it this looks like the first slide itself but here you can see this button so it uh, you can say that this is actually a video is actually a video so now next thing is you would want to edit this video to make it look like as professional as possible so if you have recorded in this fashion there is only one unprofessional thing according to me that can happen so let's see how to uh, uh, you know make it much more professional so here you click anywhere right click anywhere on the video and after that you choose trim here you have the trim option right so you choose trim so once you choose trim it will open in this kind of a window now what happens is when you remember i asked you to take a 5 second pause and after that click on the stop recording what happens is 
even this action here gets recorded okay now since i'm giving you a tutorial this is looking sensible that i have uh, you know recalling this drop down menu but what you want to do is you want to actually edit out the uh, later part of the video for the, before the 5 second pause so that you know all of those things are not seen so maybe you can reduce 5 seconds from here and then click on ok so what will happen the trimmed video will get posted again back onto your um, uh, first slide but just see that you cannot post this yet you have to save it as a media file so in order to do that you have to again click anywhere on the video uh, i mean right click anywhere on the video but this time instead of trim you have to select save media as once you click on that this window will open so what you have to do is uh, you have to save the file to a location of your choice on your computer here the location of choice for me is desktop i have named this file as green buildings video you can see here uh, you can see here the save as type is media file this is automatic you don't have to select it and after that you have to select save so once you have done that again it will take some time you can see the progress here again depending upon the computing power of your laptop and the uh, length of the video this may take from a few seconds to a few minutes and after that the saving process is over and if i just go to my uh, desktop i can see here that the video is posted now this video is saved in a mp4 format that means you can either share it to your students via email you can post it on google classroom you can post it on youtube that i leave it up to you all right so this brings us to the end of this video i hope this was useful for you if you have any doubts you can post in the comments below thank you so much Thank you.